The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20, 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the Mike Widener Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter. And stay up to date with the Mike Widener Show updates on my Facebook page at the Mike Wagner Show, and also feel free to support our program at PayPal as well. We're here with a wonderful author out of Arlington, Virginia. He's got 15 years' experience in cybersecurity. He also wrote and produced several independent and short films and also has some books, too, called The Girl Behind the Green, Why People Do What They Do, Chasing the Green, The Web Page Chronicles, Smoke in the Afterlife, and has a new book out, from Beacon Publishing called Attrition and live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in Arlington, Virginia, author, poet, screenwriter, playwright, and cybersecurity expert, Emilio Ayacello. Emilio, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I look forward to talking to you. Well, it's great to have you on board as well, too. 15 years experience in cybersecurity. You're also an author, poet, screenwriter, playwright and more as well too you've got several books out there but we'll talk about attrition in just a minute and before we get into all that tell us how i first got started uh so really so yeah so i got started in writing um uh i really thank my fourth grade teacher for this she was very instrumental um in in, in promoting creative writing to my class and uh and to be honest she got me hooked and really from that point i never looked back uh she was very encouraging for uh all of our writing endeavors and so as I got older, I, I took more formal creative writing classes in high school and college and eventually got my MFA from George Mason University. So uh, she was the first, she was the catalyst. And, uh, and uh, you know, I, I'm very happy that the, I'm able to send her some published works and to say that, you know, uh, I'm here because uh, you, you pressed me when, when I was in fourth grade. So uh, she, she was awesome. That was amazing, too. What was that one moment that precisely influenced you into what you're doing today? Ah. So uh, she said to me uh, uh, that that I had a, uh, a knack for telling a story, 
And so in, in the school uh, where we're at, um, I, I then uh, she encouraged me to write. So I, I was writing serials for the local, uh, for the weekly school paper that would come out on Fridays. And so there would just be four weeks in the, in, in the story would go. And, the, and then I, I, really, I really realized that I had something going on there when um, Monday mornings I had parents come up to me in the parking lot and said, so uh, what's going to happen this week? You know, what, 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 what are we going to find out? And I'm like, well, you, you, know, you just have to wait till Friday. Um, and, and then, you know, then, then I really realized that, like, wow, storytelling and, and writing could really touch, um, you know, not, not just people my own age, uh, at that age, but that, you know, parents were very excited. So I said to myself, wow, there's really something about this writing, and uh, that just really, again, propelled me forward uh, and wanted to continue it uh, professionally if I can. Uh huh. It sounds amazing. You've got a lot of great works. You're a very excitable writer. And who are some of your favorite writers and authors growing up? Ah, uh, so many, so many. So, uh, so because I, I do write in kind of a, a, several of the disciplines, um, so I do have uh, like favorite writers in all different categories. So for like for fiction, um, I like you know I, I got uh, I got really hooked on uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald and Hemingway growing up. Um, but uh, thanks to my uh, grandfather who used to love uh, detective fiction, he introduced me to people like Raymond Chandler and Dashiell Hammett, uh, Mickey Spillane, and you know. I totally love those guys as well. Uh, and then, and then you know, as I got in high school and stuff, then like, hey, Jack Kerouac, uh, you know, who doesn't love Kerouac? You know, got hooked on him. And then as, as I got into, like, playwriting and stuff, like people like Tennessee Williams, Sam Shepard, um, and, and certainly, uh, you know, from uh, from uh, you know one of my ultimate favorite storytellers of all time, Stephen King, I, I could listen to that guy tell stories forever. So the, the, these people just, you know, they sit around my office uh, and kind of hopefully, you know, Hopefully, inspire me as I try to uh, to do honor to their craft. Mm-hmm. And we'll talk about your uh, previous works as well too. Then we'll talk about attrition. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the Mike Show dot com. It's powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios dot com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with author, poet, screenwriter, playwright, and cybersecurity expert, Emilio Iocello, here on the Mike Wagner Show with his new book, Attrition, published by Beacon Publishing as well, too. And you also have some books called The Girl Behind the Green, Why People Do What They Do, Chasing the Green, The Webpage Chronicles, Smoke in the Afterlife, and um, tell us about some of those books. Sure. So, um, so uh, I, I really enjoy writing in all different kind of disciplines in writing, and so all these kind of represent each uh, different one every time. So, uh, why people do what they do is my collection of short stories um, that, that that I wrote. Started that when I was in uh, grad school, and uh, took many years to actually <laughs> get out of uh, get out of collection. Um, then uh, uh, the webpage chronicles was inspired by my daughter. Uh, she's a she's a, a, a young seven year old girl, and uh, and uh, that that is a middle grade fix to teach kids how to really operate safely on the internet, um, but done through a, a, a fiction story that with characters that they can relate to. Um, the girl behind the glass is my first novel, actual literary fiction novel. Um, so uh, that kind of explores a uh, a person's journey who gets his friend's uh, ashes in the mail and he has to figure out a resting place for them. So it's a kind of a fun journey that way. Um, and then attrition, which is, uh, my latest and, uh, you know, my foray into the thriller mystery genre. Wow. Mystery thriller. And you say, this is your, uh, first try at this one. And, um, it's about it when a billionaire game manufacturer finds out he's dying from incredible disease. He summons three former close friends when college will pile a new murder mystery game. His company is developing and mur- and this genre, it sounds like it's uh, pretty interesting. And, uh, tell us more about that. And um, why mystery thriller for you? Sure. So one, a, 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 as, a, as a reader uh, of this type of uh, genre fiction, but also like movies in, in the same type of genre, I love murder mysteries and thrillers, and uh, I really like really good ones. And I, I think uh, – 
you know, some don't quite hit the mark, but some are really good. And, and one of the ones that I, I really enjoy when it comes to mysteries are one that involve games. And especially if the game is integral to the plot, integral to uh, the solving of the mystery itself. And it's just not just a foil to keep the story going. So uh, I try to do that with, the, with, with attrition. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, my interest in, the, in this realm really stems from actually growing up. My aunt and I really enjoyed doing murder mysteries, and especially those that where we had to, like, go away for a weekend. And, but we'd have to go in character. So, you know, like, literally you play this character from, like, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. at night. Um, and, and then, you know, any time in between that, you had to dress a certain way, you had to act a certain way, you had to speak a certain way. And, and I really thought that is, was very exciting. And then, it, to me, it's, it's just a natural overlay for, like, a, a murder mystery because then you can really play with things like the unreliable narrator, a narrator or unreliable characters and who's lying and, you know, who's lying for, for what reasons. And, 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 and then, again, it just deepens the mystery. So... I try to fold all these in uh, into attrition, and uh, hopefully, uh, I think I, I think I did a pretty good job, and I hope our readers will think of it the same way. Mm -hmm. and, and made me think of that one movie as well, too, involving billionaires and um, you know manufacturers and and dying of a disease, and there's all these people. It seems like they're just fighting for control over the fortune. Maybe think of the recent movie Knives Out or something like that, or maybe even Clue. It's just almost like um. A who done it in a way too, or it's like um, you know Agatha Christie and everything else. But it, it it also has like an interesting twist to um attrition as well too. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Uh, I, and, and all these things like I, I've always been a big Agatha Christie fan, and then they were known as one of my favorite stories of all time. Um, and yes, so so I just really want to pay homage to to the to this genre and, and to all. It's, Masters that you really have came before me on this, um, and, and so so in constructing the story, I, I thought you know working with games, working with uh, in this case the notion of of old friends getting together, and 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 uh, you know a friend of mine asked me he goes well, you know why are the characters you know older like they're not like younger characters they're in their sixties and I said well you know in, in this regard said so the characters had to be older because you know this was a conscientious decision so so that they would show the long shared history between them and 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 really this notion of people being bound by a secret and really how did that you know once that secret is formed how does this play out in their lives and some good some most bad. Um, and, you know, and both are all rooted together. You know, and, and I thought this was an, an interesting uh, uh, way to, to just kind of over, overshadow the, 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 the story, uh, kind, of, kind of overlay the story with this, these type of themes of friendship, betrayal, and uh, as they try to uh, compete for the, for the ultimate fortune. Mm -hmm. and, and then also, too, you also have some other ones, too. I think we covered, what, Between a Rock and a Hard Place and um, – Nathaya and Uncommitted, and I think there's also some others we haven't touched based on. You can tell us about those. Sure. So th th those are films uh, that that I've been fortunate to work with uh, with some uh, really uh, really uh, smart filmmakers and and and, and excellent actors um, uh, with regards. So, so so yeah. So one of the things that I also you know enjoy doing is being able to write. Uh, you know, these aren't big. Uh, these are you know they're not big studio releases. They're small smaller. Uh, you know, smaller independent films, um, but I think they really allow a lot more for the storytelling um, to evolve without net with the need of CGI or, or, or big explosions or action sequences. Um, and so, yeah, so, so, a lot, so a couple of these uh, uh, films touch upon the same things as, as regards of, of, you know, friendship between characters, betrayal, um, and, and really, like, you know, these are the times, I think, when characters really uh, show who they are. Um, and, and they really become really interesting. So, you know, for me, a lot, a lot, a lot of writing is about making sure you know who your characters are really well before writing. Because, you know, people always ask if I, well, do you, do you, you know, do you outline, you know, extensively? I said, no, outlines to me are, are a guide, uh, not, not a blueprint. Because I, once I know the characters, I want them to take me where the story's going. Mm -hmm. and, and also, too, you've been involved in uh, cyber security for 15 years. And do you have any short stories that are involved with like cyber threats, intelligence, AI, or secret service, or anything like that? <laughs> no, no, not, not, not quite yet. I do, I, do, I do have a couple of ideas. Um, I, I usually do most of my cyber writing is my professional writing. So I do a lot of uh, research papers and uh, academic white papers and, and blogs on that. But you know, I do have uh, you know, I do have a notebook that has uh, some sketches with, with regards to uh, to uh, do a cyber-focused story. 
Um, you know, unfortunately, it's just uh, sometimes like, you know, what was really interesting in that realm, it, it's tough to translate in, uh, in, in like on screen, for instance, or, or, or that. It's just, you know, when, when you're coding, it's difficult to make coding exciting. You know, you're just mm-hmm. hitting, you're, you're hitting a keyboard. Um, uh, it it kind of makes me think of the Matrix as well, too, in a way. So that's what it sounds like. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and of course, you spent 15 years. And uh, tell us how you first got involved with cybersecurity. Sure. So, uh, so I was finishing up my uh, my MFA at, at George Mason, and but uh, I was going part time at night, so I was working full time. And I used to work in the, as a paralegal, and I just couldn't do that anymore. So I got a job as a government contractor, and I was fortunate enough to get in first of all as a technical writer for a group that focused on cyber threats, and they would uh, they would track um, uh, actor bad guys in cyberspace and what they were doing. Um, and I found that really interesting. And, and the more I got involved in that, I, I realized that, you know, with regards to when it comes to a, a, a space where you don't necessarily see the bad people face to face, but they're doing things. And, and, and it really, it really lends uh, for you to be creative about the fact, like, who are these people? What are they doing? Why are they doing it? And so really push creativity in, in a way that I didn't think uh, was, this, was actually possible in a daytime job. Um, but it did. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I liked it. So mm-hmm. I, you know, I stuck with it ever since, and so, I, so I, I always joke around saying I'm able to use both the re- right side and the left side of my brain, but both for creative reason <laughs> purposes. One is for you know creative writing, but one I'm able to uh, take uh, and to look at uh, uh, the bad guys that work in cyberspace and, and really lend like kind of a, a creative look and perspective, and you know kind of adopt their mindsets and see how I could uh, help. Uh, network defenders uh, strengthen themselves so these guys will not make as bad an impact as possible. Mm-hmm. And what are some of the current threats that you're experiencing right now in cybersecurity and what's been the latest as of late when it comes to issues in cybersecurity? Uh, well, you know, so, so, you know, the, 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 you know, if you look in the newspaper uh, or, or in the press, you know, there, there's always the, 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 the actors, the, the, the state actors that are, are, are doing um, what we call cyber espionage, kind of stealing intellectual property from companies, um, you know, taking that and using that for a profit or, or, or to support their own states. But I, I think one, one of the ones that are more universal and that really you know, impact a bigger audience is certainly things like ransomware, which is just the bad guys uh, you know, exploiting your computer, basically locking it all up and forcing you to pay a ransom or else you, you, know, you won't have access to your information. Um, and you know, certainly in that regards, we've seen them uh, uh, more sophisticated teams going out there. You know, first they start off just hitting like regular people like you and I, but the, that that you know, the, now they've you know evolved their operations, so they're going to bigger companies or, or bigger thing uh, or bigger places, and tr- you know, going for a bigger bang for their buck. So uh, hey, if you can hit up a place that has a uh, you know 100, 100 uh, or you know hundred million people as data, and you lock it all up, then you know you can certainly extort for a bigger p- price point. Um, and then that still, and that still impacts, you know, J, you know, John Q. Public. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the, 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 this the, like that is is really a really a hot topic right now that uh, I think has applicability, you know, again across uh, individuals, companies, governments. I mean, you know, hey, you don't want your healthcare information sewn up somewhere, or you don't want to be in the hospital, especially in this day and age. Uh, God forbid with the pandemic, and then you know the bad guys, you know, locked up to, uh, with the hospital where you're at and locked up all the information. And so that's just, yeah, that, to me, that's, that is a, a very immediate threat to just everybody, you know, on the planet, and not just for intellectual property or, or things of like that. Mm-hmm. And, and we'll also talk about what's coming up as well, too, besides, um, besides attrition, you're first to listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all he needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at soundequipstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sound Equip Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also, follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with author, poet, screenwriter, playwright, and cybersecurity expert Emilio Aicello here on the Mike Widener Show talking about his latest book, Attrition, 
published by Beacon Publishing. Also talked about the go behind the glass, why people do what they do, chasing the green and more. Talking about his uh, experience in cybersecurity. And before we wrap things up here, what can we expect from me from 2020 and beyond, Emilio? Ah, uh, so uh, so I I've been uh, working on a, a, another thriller. Um, uh, I, I uh, about uh, about uh, mysteries that happen uh, kind of like you know in, in the woods, and and, it, and this really takes. Um, I used to go to camp as a kid um, for the summer. My, you know, my mom kicked me out of the house, got me out of the house, uh, <laughs> you know, sent me up to camp, uh, you know, for for a month or two. And uh, what I thought was awesome, and it goes back to storytelling, is like. Every Sunday night, we'd sit by the campfire, and uh, you know, before bed, they would tell us an amazing ghost story, just constant ghost stories, and and, and you know, again, left in a double impression in my mind, and I'm like, you know, I, I want to tell my own version of a ghost story, kind of set, you know, the way this camp was in the woods by a lake, um, and just, you know, not a slasher or nothing like that, but just just a, a ghost story. I want to tell a ghost story, so that that's the current the project I'm working on now, um, and, and just really calling upon that, uh, you know. Uh, the sensibilities, you know, of a young kid, 10, 11 years old, you know, sitting there uh, experiencing this basic, you know, ghost story where, where, he, where he and his family are, are, are vacationing by a lake. And uh, and so, yeah, to me, just wanted to investigate the, the, this approach, this, like how kids see fear, how kids interpret fear um, and, and, and uh, you know, and just really, really play upon those sensibilities. So that's the current project uh, right now that I'm uh, I'm uh, working on and so far i mean so far so good i like it and uh, hopefully uh that will be a good follow-up for uh attrition and what can we expect the release uh hopefully you know, not, you know god willing the crick don't rise uh you know ho- 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 hopefully uh not more than nine to 12 months uh but uh, you know hey uh you know, we, we shall see um but uh, right now i just got the first draft done and uh kind of you know we're kind of the second draft now so things that way are going well and then once that's done uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll find a home and uh, it'll, it'll it'll go out there soon. Sounds great. And we're here with the uh, author, poet, screenwriter, playwright, and cybersecurity expert Emilio Iacella here on the Mike Wagner Show. And a couple more things here. We'd love to have back on sometime in 2020 and beyond. You've been great. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career? Uh, really, uh, that uh, the biggest one I, I I would say is just really is is is, is the passion to read and, and and the willingness to write. Um, you know, people have asked me like, you know, what's it take to be a writer? And I'm like, well, it just takes you to want to write. Um, you know, that, that's the thing. And, and to me, reading and writing are, are go hand in hand. So, uh, it's diff- I, I would find it difficult for someone to say they want, they're, they're a writer without ever reading any material, whether, uh, it, it's in the, in the genre they're working in or just in, in just words in general. Um, so for the, my, my biggest things that got me here is just, uh, reading, being, being able to be touched by what I've read and then saying to myself, I want to do likewise and seeing if I can write something that will touch someone else. Mm-hmm. That's been the biggest inspiration. That's amazing too. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Read, 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 write, write, write. And to me, I, I think the, 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 the best, the best suggestion I ever gotten. And, and I stand by this is, you know, writing is rewriting. Hey, getting the first draft down is, is is a testament. It's wonderful, but that's just when the work begins because you have to rewrite. You know, no 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 one writes down the first draft perfectly. So, it, it, you know, just once you get it all down, just know that you're gonna have to go back and rewrite it, fine tune, you know, improve areas that you, you know. And, and and if you wrote it, you'll know which areas need help. You know, you know where to boost it up. But yeah, writing is rewriting. But uh, I gotta tell you, at the end of the day, uh, there's no finer achievement to say that you you you. you you, you, you've created words on like 250, 300 pages, 400 pages. You've done something that very few people can say they've done. And, and that quite, that in and of itself is an accomplishment. Even Stephen King doesn't uh, get it right in his first draft. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, and to me, I'm like, I, you know, I, I would love that guy to just, uh, you know, to, to, to offer up a weekend with him in a camp somewhere uh, and just him tell ghost stories every night, I, I would I would pay a lot of money just, just to do that. I think that'd be wonderful. And driving Christine as well, too, in The Shining. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> there you go. So once again, author Emilio Iacello of Attrition here on the Mike Wagner Show. Emilio, big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? And where can people purchase your books? And especially about the latest Attrition from Beacon Publishing. Sure. So all my books are, are accessible via Amazon. 
uh, dot com. Um, I do have a, a web page, which is uh, just uh, Emilio ICL my name dot com, uh, and, and and those books are also available there via link. Um, so uh, th- those are the two places that uh, I, I hang out the most. Um, so please uh, stop by and please purchase it, and please definitely do uh, whoever does write a review. No bad reviews. I, I like all feedback and. Uh, it's good to know that people read, but they also like they have something to say. And if it's, uh, you know, if it's got some criticism, that's fine. Just all that just says, I appreciate the the purchase. I appreciate the reading and uh, and thoughtful responses are always welcome. I'll give you a one word for it, my review. Excellent. Uh, say it again. <laughs> I'll give you my my review. Although I haven't read it. Excellent. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Once again, Amelia, big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on 2020 and beyond. And um, keep us up to date. You've been fantastic. Thank you for having me. It's been a wonderful experience. I appreciate it. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.